speaking on behalf of, of all eight founders of Momentum. Um, we, we can't thank you all enough for coming out to celebrate this moment, this milestone with us. Ten years ago, when we conceptualized something, something, a project, to make positive change in the world through Jewish values, we came to envision a movement, a groundswell, a grassroots response that would bring a real change to our families and communities. In our founding group, we are eight diverse women, but unified in purpose. Even before our mission evolved into the successes we're celebrating today, juxtaposing diversity and unification was part of our blueprint. Ultimately, this value of unity without uniformity was named and recognized as a pillar of our movement. All eight of us had a sense that living and transmitting Jewish values was the key to realizing each human being's greatest potential in all of her gorgeous singularity. Here are a few words from Lori Palatnik, written May 2008, that emerged in an email when we were all looking through our history and records to see what we could come up with. Here's the first time she dubs us the Utah Eight. I just wanted to say that I am honored to be part of such an incredible group of idealistic visionaries. You are all fabulous, and I am excited to move forward with the JWRP that is set to make real change in the world. Well, it's not an accident, this number eight. Right? Lori always tells the story of the eight seats on Michelle's plane that took us to Utah. Yes, that's how we got eight, because there were eight seats on the plane, in case you haven't heard Lori tell the story. <laughs> in Judaism, eight is an auspicious number. It is symbolic of something beyond normal. While seven days of creation reflect the natural order, the eighth day is beyond nature. That's why a baby boy's bris is on the eighth day, symbolizing the supernatural covenant we make with God. The eight days of Hanukkah commemorate the miraculous, enduring holy light. And yes, even the Beatles got the magical number eight down with describing love so strong it lasts not seven, but eight days a week. <laughs> and there was nothing, nothing normal about how the story of our work together unfolded. Lori brought eight women together on a hunch working from our kitchen tables to make positive change in a world spinning so fast and in scary directions. And when women have an instinct that their families and futures are at risk, there is no getting in their way. Just like the Torah tells us, are women leading the way to the Red Sea in song and harmony? So many women after them have showed courage and indomitable spirit in the face of threat and danger. We moved with our heads and our hearts and we moved with instinct. Our instinct to embrace every Jewish woman across the world to express herself uniquely 
while linked arm in arm in solidarity, was and continues to be worth following. Unified with the purpose of living intentionality and purposefully, we can flood the world with goodness and meaning that are accessible only through the portal of shared values. We knew, we knew we couldn't do it alone, and now 18,000 strong, we know we can't do it without continuing to grow the tremendous support we feel here tonight. And behind this unusual story that began with eight women is a not so usual man who took the seeds of a movement and gave it legs to stand on and wings to fly with. When we searched for an executive director almost seven years ago now, you can imagine we weren't thinking a man was necessarily the best choice, and certainly not an Israeli man from Tel Aviv. Well, Ben, Ben Perry, as unlikely a candidate as he could be, he stepped in, he dug in, and he took us from sprinters to marathon runners. Ben, ben turned out to be a kindred spirit in his shared passion for our mission and his unique combo of people persona with keen legal and managerial skills, well, we believe that God gave us a gift named Ben and tied it up with a ribbon. The timing of his arrival was exactly when we needed to negotiate our first agreement with the Israeli Ministry of the Diaspora. And here, we suddenly have an Israeli lawyer who didn't miss a beat. Ben, you are the gift that keeps giving. <laughs> From spearheading and seeing through our now multiple negotiations with the ministry and now the prime minister's office as well, to create strategic thinking to growing and managing a staff infused with our values and mission, Ben, there are no words to convey how deeply grateful we are for your leadership, friendship, work, and achievements beyond normal limits. Holly, Holly, <laughs> Holly, the beautiful Holly is Ben's wife, and we thank you. It's just a token of our appreciation to say thank you, really, for your support. We know, we know that Ben's commitment to momentum impacts your beautiful family with his long hours and travel, and it's even more than that. Ben doesn't leave work behind when he goes home. He embodies an ethic of truth and wholeness, living his values and his passion at all times. We, the founders, stand here in awe of what has been accomplished by Ben, by Lori, our incredible directors and staff, and of course, our beautiful board members, also not normal in their passion and dedication. Everyone here tonight is essential to our success. City partners, community leaders and participants, funding partners and supporters, we are grateful as well to our families who stand behind the choices we make even when momentum takes us away from them and towards our greater shared family, the Jewish people. So, to quote a song, a new song, be brilliant and shine with heart and with mind. This world is waiting for the change you bring. 
Momentum is strong and the road that we're on changes everything power on. Thank you all for making this evening a priority, coming from nearby and far away to share this milestone with us. The future is ours, all of ours, to determine, and we have the power to change what we want to see. Thank you.